Hello there guys and welcome to another E4 History video. Today we're going to look at Afonso V, who was King of Portugal in 1444. Afonso was born in 1432 and became king at just six years old when his father died in 1438. Afonso was too young to take the crown, so his mother initially took over as regent. However, she was unpopular due to being Aragonese and so Afonso's uncle Peter Duke of Chiombra took over as regent. Despite power struggles within the regency, the country progressed with the leadership of the Duke of Cumbria. During this time, we also reach the start date of EU4, when Afonso V was just 12 years old. Afonso became of age to rule in 1448. Despite the Duke of Chiombra's stable regency, Afonso didn't trust him, and together with the Duke of Braganza, killed his former regent in 1449. Afonso V then turned his attention to North Africa. Between 1458 and 1471, Afonso conquered large territories within Morocco, such as Tangier and Azila. These notable achievements granted the king the nickname the African. Afonso also followed in the Duke of Cumbria's footsteps and made important contributions to exploration within the Atlantic Ocean, which was led by Prince Henry the Navigator. Henry was able to redirect trade routes due to his exploration on the West African coast, causing Portugal to have a large influx of gold and slaves. However, when Henry the Navigator died in 1460, Afonso did nothing to continue Henry's work and stopped pursuing a policy of exploration. In 1475, Afonso V married Joana of Castile in an effort to take advantage of internal problems within the Kingdom of Castile. Since the Castilian king died in 1474, Afonso claimed Castile for his wife against Isabella and Ferdinand. Despite Afonso's attempts to control Castile by seeking assistance from France, he was unsuccessful and was forced to renounce his claim. After so much previous success on the battlefield, being defeated by Castile was a massive blow to Afonso, which led to his abdication of the throne in 1477. He became depressed and retired to a monastery and eventually died in 1481. He would, however, not be forgotten and was mourned by the people of his country. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like and check out some of my other E4 history videos. Hello, my children. I must give you a message. Subscribe to the social streamers for eternal salvation.